All right, what's going on? Happy Tuesday. We are Y Valvin again. We've got 420 cubic meters to go into this slab here into the suspended deck, and we're doing it with one pump and the Y valve again. This is our third time using the Y valve, first time using it on an actual uh, placed and finished deck. Uh, we were going to have a second pump set up out front here on the street. Uh, but access is very challenging and we would, would have only had one mixer at a time to the pump it wouldn't have been super effective and we wouldn't have reached the whole thing anyhow so so we are y valving so we've got the grout grout is on the pump right now and they're going to prime it into the bucket so we'll head on over to the bucket here and catch that and i want to get them inside these bags or we can just take this one out we can do one in that bag and one in this bag yeah. without the bags it'll just piss out of that bucket right typically the grout yeah yeah Boom starting to sag, which means it's loading up with grout. You can feel it in the hose now. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I've got grout through on my side, how's yours? Yeah, yeah. Okay, grout is through. Okay, come up a bit. Ian, does the egg not fit on this one? Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, oh, you know why? It's because of the freaking the extended metal end. That sucks. Okay. Good to know for next time. We won't use one with, with that silly thing. <laughs> Some like. Beautiful. It's the only crappy thing with a Y valve, you don't get the, the same amount of spray when they're a little bit short. The stuff's wet enough, it'll it'll flow, they can vibe it over there. No big deal. It's 85 an hour. Well, that's all right. Yeah. That road already at 1500. But otherwise, it'll be dancing all over the place anyhow. Hopefully, that Y doesn't pull back. If it does, maybe we have to rope it off to the rebar or something. It doesn't seem to be moving though. She's hammering down pretty good. Some nice pipe slap action. Nicky slump, 40 MPA, toothpaste mud. Yes, this is working out great. Otherwise, it would have been larger size line, one point of placement. And now we can use smaller, lighter line, easier for the guys to move around. And they can fill in two spots simultaneously and bring this all back together. Really, really happy with how this Y valve system is working out. And now that they got the slump dialed in, James is pumping at about, about 80 to 85 meters an hour. 
which is more than sufficient for what we're doing here. Love it. What do you think? Pretty awesome or what? That's awesome, yeah. It is pretty awesome, right? Basically, two pumps. Yeah, you could do this for Shot Creek. Look how many people we keep in this. Yeah. Yeah, Shot Creek guys use this open set up all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they got a big pool. They run the Y valve and they can crank the volume way up on the pump. They got two guys spraying at once. Pretty slick. As I mentioned before in previous videos, I've been told the critical thing with the Y valve is keeping resistance equal on both sides of the line. So running the same amount of hose, the same size hose, as soon as you get into a, a difference in back pressure, the flow will increase exponentially to the side with less pressure, is what I've been told. Um, I haven't seen it or tried it yet in the field. So when that day does come, maybe today, I don't know, um, I'll keep you posted on that, but that's what I've been told by, by wise folks, so. So I gotta give a big shout out to the guys at Somero. They sent us a couple of their composite hose eggs, three of them actually. And they sent them because we've already been using these since uh, 2021, so four years now. These are the original ones. And they've held up fantastic for what we put them through. And I had them in a couple videos and uh, yeah, they, uh, they're quite excited to see them in action. And they sent us three more. So now we have a total of six of these. We really like them versus uh, the old school hose pans. There are applications where the pans can be, can be advantageous, but for the vast majority of what we do, these hose eggs are the way to go. See the way they roll? You kick the hose, move the hose, and the egg actually it actually rolls around the hose. Makes them really, really easy to move around versus obviously just having clamps snagging up on things. So, so yeah, big shout out to Somero. A great product, which I have no problem uh, endorsing, plugging, talking very highly about. Like I said, we put these through the through the ringer over the years and they've, they've performed and held up beautifully. So. I'll put a link in the description and up on the screen here as to uh, where you can, can grab these things. the pours over the years where we could have used this and been so much faster yeah. well there's not room for two pumps so hey, after 20 years you got it now <laughs> 26 26 years so you're saving the contractors money you know You saw my shop video last week. This thing wears really quickly right in the center here, no surprise. So we're looking at doing a little bit of hard facing right at the, uh, the diversion there on the inside of the piece. the pump here and this thing is working. Wow, that's like relief valve territory. But yeah, wow, the pressures on this thing are sky high. The main 
pump's just working. The guy on the right, the next load is significantly wetter. So we'll watch how that pressure drops down once we get it in. Yeah. It's getting a workout today. for today just a short little video i just wanted to uh showcase the y valve like i said the first time that we've used it on a pour like this uh and it's working swimmingly well so before we do the outro actually this april the bama construction show in germany i will be there i'll be there monday through thursday at the show be hanging around the putzmeister booth come by say hi uh, I'm super excited. I've never been to that show before, never been to Germany. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'd, uh, I'd love to meet as many of you guys as possible. So, you know how it goes. Keep on pumping. And the silly little hand signs. There we go. Catch you on the next one.